Pereira might be the greatest MMA athlete of all time, but he also has the best clapbacks. I have to say, Roundtree really earned my respect. He kept pace with Pereira, even managing a knockdown early on in round two. It was a beautiful kickboxing display, but in round four, Pereira sealed the deal with a brutal uppercut body combo. That knockout was vicious, but I think he needs to focus on recovery now because he's been so active. I wouldn't be surprised if he's next in line for the Angolaya versus Rochik winner at 308. Speaking of big fights, let's talk about Juliana Pena. She snatched that belt and immediately called out Amanda Nunez, even though Amanda Nunez is retired. By the way, I'm Natalie Loretta and I debriefed the beef in martial art. It's funny how she didn't mention Kayla Harrison, right? Especially since Kayla just became the number two contender after her win in the same night. Pena's acting like Kayla isn't the scariest grappler in women's MMA right now, but come on, it's inevitable. Kayla's only getting better and with her improving striking, she's bound to dominate. Oh, and we need to talk about Jose Aldo. Ground control wins fights, I guess, right? So how did Aldo lose after defending every single takedown? I don't get it. And Conor McGregor agrees with me. Aldo is a legend and it just didn't make sense to me. On a sad note, we're saying goodbye to one of the best. Carla Esparza retired after her bittersweet fight against Tisha Pennington. By the way, did anyone else think it was super cool that Tisha and Raquel both fought in the same card? I love that. That was 307, but in 308, I'm so excited for Ilya versus Max in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> it's gonna be off the charts. Make sure to follow, like, save this video, send it to your friends, and remember, keep rolling with the punches.